Today I presented the result of a phase two trial, uh, essentially combining a new compound called enotuzumab ozagamycin plus mini chemotherapy for elderly people. The rationale is the following. We know that elderly patients with acute leukemia and mainly ALL, they don't do well. Uh, we have a high mortality rate, survival is bad, and that was found across all the studies reported. Uh, and why is that? Because they have poor tolerance to chemotherapy, therefore the idea was to give lower intensity chemotherapy for these patients. Now, we have a new drug called enotuzumab ozagamycin, which is a new antibody. Uh, it has a toxin attached to it called calichomycin. So this antibody binds to the surface of the cancer cell, and when it's bound, uh, the, uh, the toxin is delivered and to the cell and kills the cells. In fact, in, it does attach the DNA, and then break the DNA, and as such, the cell will die. So it's a very novel uh, way. Uh, this drug has been assessed in refractory patients. It's found to be very effective with 58% responses in patients who failed prior therapy. Furthermore, in a randomized trial, it was found to be better than anything we have available. Therefore, the idea was, if this drug is so targeted, and not toxic, maybe we can combine it with a low intensity chemotherapy in elderly people. As such, we decrease the toxicity rate and the mortality and we can improve overall survival. So we tested this combination in 38 patients. The drug was given at the beginning at 1.8 milligram per meter square in a first cycle, and at the lower dose, 1.3 milligram per meter square in subsequent cycles for a total of four cycles. Uh, we found that despite this dose with combination, we have some problem with safety, essentially veno-occlusive disease, essentially it's a liver problem. We had to reduce the dose from patient 35 and moving forward to 1.3 for the first course and one milligram for subsequent course. So these are meter, milligram per meter square. We have 38 patients treated. The results are phenomenal. We have everybody but one patient responding. We have 95% of response rate, which is really good. More importantly, when we look at the patients with the bad features, like they have the karyotype being abnormal, uh, everybody responds. And then we look at what we call minimal disease assessment, which is we know today with one of the more, most important factors for the survival. We have everybody achieving what we call MRD negative status of them 74% at the time of remission, which is day 21. So phenomenal. Now, of this trial today, we have a median follow-up of two years. We have a median overall survival of, uh, we have two-year survival of 64%. Uh, when we compare this data to historical data we have in similar patients, we double survival from 34% to 64%, 30% increase, which is really good. Now, it's still early on. We have to wait for the data to mature further, but at least it's really very encouraging. Now, safety with the drug, we did see essentially what we've, saw, what we've seen is similar to what we've seen with other chemotherapy, but we did see VOD, the problem of the drug. Uh, this is why we reduced the dose. We had four cases. Two of them were mild, reversible, and two of them were severe. That led to the patient death. Uh, that was a red flag. Uh, therefore, we reduced the dose of the treatment, as I mentioned at the beginning, to lower dose. And we're exploring further lower doses to see if we can keep the efficacy while we can decrease the safety concern, and that is ongoing. So overall, I can say the results are very encouraging. We have a high response rate, everybody achieving MRD negativity with a two-year survival of 64%. Uh, Safety-wise, it's very tolerable. VOD, as I mentioned, it, we have to tune the dose of the drug. And if these results stand at the long run, they may replace the way we treat leukemia with a low-intensity regimen with minimal chemotherapy. These chemotherapy are very minimal, and we take advantage of the drug to further improve the outcome.